One thing people love to do after they see a movie nowadays is go on Twitter and complain about it. What if we had Twitter back in the 80s? Well, let's see what it would have been like. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. And today, as I said in the teaser and the title, we're going to go to an alternate universe where we had Twitter back in the 80s. That's right. Twitter back in the 80s. It's going to be a lot of fun. Were people be excited when they saw the new Star Wars movie back in 1982? What about they saw a new Rambo movie? Were they loved it? It's Twitter, so you know they would hate it. But let's go back to the 80s and read some tweets. Now this is better. So, what would it be like if we had Twitter back in the 80s? After people see all these hit movies and everything, but they fall in love with it or be angry like they are today? Well, I've asked some friends of mine, uh, some staff members from the YouTube channel, to come help me with this, and we're going to read some tweets from 1980. That's right, we went to an alternate universe where there was a Twitter in the 80s, and we're going to read you some tweets. Uh, let's start off with... Larry, start us off. Okay, let's start with this one right here from Hero of the Force. So let me get this right. All of a sudden, Han Solo can not only turn on a lightsaber, but use it? Not my Star Wars. Empire of the Strikes Back is fan fiction. Oh, what a nut. Yo, what's up, dog? Check out this tweet from the 80s. Just saw First Blood. You know, where a white man comes to a small white town to get harassed by a white male cop? It's a tragic story of injustice. Or just another every day for a black man in white America. Castle Rambo. That's what I call just stupid. Now, here I go back to the 80s to read you a tweet. This one's from My Office Has Walls. Just got back from seeing Empire Strikes Out. Nothing with fan service. Luke was only in it because fans liked him in the first movie. Han has a black friend. You know why? Diversity. And all Leia did was yell at Han Solo calls woman. Woke garbage. Whew, I bet he's fun at parties. Hey y'all, it's me Dusty. I'm really happy to be here. I'm gonna read this tweet from the 80s. This one's from Booger. I refuse to see the Temple of Doom. I don't need to see a cis white male come to the rescue of black slaves. It just seems a little too far-fetched for me to believe. Council Jones. Kill Whitey. I don't know what that's even talking about, y'all. Man, those are crazy. Check out this one. This one's really out there. You're going to love this one. Here's one from Ball Drop 1976. I just saw the new Rambo, or should I say Wokebo, first social justice warrior. So Rambo went from fighting the system to fighting for the system? Sure, not my Rambo. Ain't that crazy? Here's one right here. I'm sure you all gonna enjoy this one. Out of all the alien races in the galaxy, guess what? It takes a white man to save the whales in the new Star Trek movie. How about show how the white man killed off whales for money to support the patriarchy? Gee, what a loon. Yo, y'all gonna love this one here. Here goes. I just get out of seeing the second Back to the Future movie. A sequel we didn't need and no one asked for. So Doc went from how you can't change the timeline to someone trying to change the future? So make us ruin my childhood. <laughs> that does sound like something you were hear on Twitter today. Okay, here goes another one from the 80s. From the best sports jacket. Han Solo is a white, cis male sexist who will not listen to Leia because she's a strong woman. Also, did you notice they hired an American actor to play Luke Skywalker who's from Tatooine? Hello? Can't find any Tatooine actors? Cancel Star Wars now! Oh, I don't know what this Twitter is, but it sounds like garbage. Hey y'all, it's Dusty. I'm gonna read another tweet from the 80s. This one's from Just Answer Phones. So after saving the parents in the first Ewok movie, the sequel just kills them off at the start of the movie? All that stuff they did in the first one didn't matter. They didn't even give them a meaningful death. F that, I'm off to play Karate Champ. It's more fun. Oh shucks, that sounds crazy, y'all. Can't believe some of these people. Well, here's another one here. Check this one out. This one's from Mama Balls. I just saw the movie Color Purple. A movie directed by a Jewish white man, written by a white Dutch man, about the hardships of a black female slave in the racist white South. If anyone knows about slaves, I guess it's white men. That's what I call nuts. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Oh, I hope he's okay. That looked like you hurt real bad, y'all. <sighs> well, that's a look at some tweets. 
from the 80s, if we had Twitter in the 80s. Hold on. Now, now we're back right here. Well, that's a look at if we had Twitter in the 80s. I don't know about you. I do miss the 80s, but I'm glad we didn't have Twitter in the 80s. I mean, back then in the 80s, we saw a movie. If we didn't like it, we didn't go cry about it that it ruined our childhood. We just moved on to the next movie. Today, everyone's angry about everything on Twitter or online. Movies, TV, politics, the economy, you name it, everyone's upset about it. I don't think the human race was even ready for social media, do you? Anyway, I want to thank the staff for helping me with this one. Larry J. Wampa, Randy the Rancor, Gangster Chewbacca, and our newest member, Dusty. Well, tell me what you think. Would it have been great to grow up in the 80s with Twitter or social media? I'm sure you're going to say no. No, it wouldn't. But hey, there's some good things about social media also. It's not all bad. I mean, I have a lot of fun on Twitter, and I've met some really cool people on there also. So it's not all bad. There's a lot of angry people out there online. Well, I want to thank you for watching. As always, don't want to turn like my content. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>